Hello everyone, this is Raphael from FastGen and today I will show you how to build a simple web scraper with FastGen. So, first of all, we want to scrape the word of the day from MarionWebstar.com and I will show you how to do this right now. First, we need to add a new workflow. We are using the time-based one because we want to run our scraper every day. We will call this word of the day and for the condition we set that it should run every day at let's say 3 p.m. and that should work. You can hit save and now we can start adding our custom code action block. We can call this one get word and we are going to use python for this one. Now we can configure the code and here we first need three python packages that we need to install. So let's get them right here. We need requests we need beautiful soup for, and we need date time. Let's hit save so they can install. Now that our packages are installed, we can start coding. So first of all, we need to import requests. Then from BS4, we want to import beautiful soup. And from date time, we want to import date time. Let's start with the function here. So we want to define the URL that we are going to scrape, which is equal to marionwebster.com slash word of the day. Let's paste it in here. Then we want to make a request to it. So we can say a response is equal to requests.get URL. Afterwards, we can define our soup. Our soup is equal to beautiful soup and then response.content of the html.parser. So to find the word from the soup now, we need to go to the website and inspect the word that we are looking for. So let's have a look right here. We can see that acronym, the word that we are looking for, is in the h2 header and has the class word header txt. Let's copy the class and go back to fastgen. So now we can say word is equal to soup.find and we want to find an h2 header with the class being equal to the text we just copied word header txt. And of this HTML element we want to have the text because that's the content, the word that we are looking for. Now to also get the current date, we can say date is equal to datetime.now.strftime. And here we put in our date time format. So we say percentage y dash percentage m dash percentage d. And we want to return this data. So we say uh, return word of the day, which is word, and also return current date, which is date. Let's try it out. Great, we got our word and our date, so that's looking good. We can save our changes and now go over to the database. Because we want to create a new database where every day the new word of the day is stored in. Let's call this words and we get the column word and date to keep it simple. Create the table and go back to our workflow. So now we can add our database query. Let's add the action block right here, call it add to database and configure it. We want to insert into words, into the column words and date forgot an S right here. And we want to use the values from our previous action for that. So we can click here on this variable icon and go for action.getWord. And to access the data, we can say dot data dot word of the day. And for the current date, we do exactly the same, but dot data dot current under dash date. 
So let's try it out. Do a test query. Looking good. Save the changes. Save. Go for the debug mode to test the draft workflow. That is looking good. Let's check the database. Words. And perfect. We have our word in here together with the current date. So this is how you can build a web scraper with Python and beautiful soup within FastGen that updates your database every day with the current word of the day. I hope this video was helpful and happy building.